Are you looking for a video on how to solve word problems involving multiplication with or without addition or subtraction? Then this video is right for you. So without much further ado, let's begin. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roel Chi Carpio, a math teacher and a coach, and I do my tutorial in my YouTube channel. If you have been to my channel before, welcome back. And if it is your first time to visit my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new video. And if you think that the content of my YouTube channel is worth sharing with others, kindly share it with them. And don't forget also to leave a comment on the comment section down below. Gracias! In this video, I'm going to present to you how to solve word problems involving multiplication with or without addition and or subtraction. So in general, how do we solve word problems? In solving multi-step word problems, we can follow the given steps. 1. Understand. In this step, you need to identify what is asked in the problem. You need also to identify the hidden questions in the problem, if there are any, and the given facts. Number 2. Plan. In this step, you need to determine the operation or operations to be used in solving the problem and you are going also to write the number sentence. Number 3. Solve. In this step, you need to carry out the solution to the given number sentence created in the plan step. Number 4. Check and look back. In this step, you need to double check your answer before writing the final answer complete with unit if needed. So let us have examples. We have here example number 1. The problem says here, Anna saves 5 pesos a day in her piggy bank. How much will her savings be at the end of 15 weeks? So first step is for us to understand the problem. So let us identify what does the problem is asking us to do. Based on the given problem, it says that we have to identify the total amount that Anna saves in 15 weeks. So what is asked in the problem is how much will her savings be at the end of 15 weeks. Now, we have also to identify what is or are the hidden question or questions in the given problem. So the hidden questions, these are the questions that we need to answer first before we can answer or find the final answer. So here, the hidden question is, we have to identify how many days are there in a week because we have to identify how much does she save in a week so that we can multiply it by 15 weeks. Next, what are the given facts? The given facts are 5 pesos a day and we have also 15 weeks. Now, for the next step is for us to plan. So we have to identify what are the operations that we need to use. So in here, we are just simply going to use multiplication. So, what is our number sentence? So, we have to multiply 7 days in a week times 5 pesos in a day. And then, whatever is the product here, we are going to multiply it by 15. So, this is our number sentence. So, first is for us to multiply 7 times 5 to give us 35 pesos. So, in other words, Anna saves 35 pesos per week. So, in 15 weeks, so we have to multiply 35 times 15. So, following the long multiplication method, so we can multiply starting from the ones place. So, 5 times 5 is 25, regroup 2, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17, then 1 times 5 or 10 times 5 will give us 50, so 5 and then you have 0, 1 times 3 or 10 times 30 will give us 300, so 
you have 3 and then we are going to add our initial products 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 7 is 12 regroup 1 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so in other words Anna can save 525 pesos in 15 weeks so when we look back we have to double check whether our answer is correct and then if we are sure that our answer is already correct then we have to write our final answer complete with unit so since our answer is already correct so we can now write our final answer that Anna can save 525 pesos in 15 weeks now let's proceed to our second problem our second problem here says that a civic group conducted a feeding outreach to flood affected families they prepared 12 dozens of eggs if they used 80 eggs on the first day how many eggs were left okay first is for us to identify what is us in the problem based on the given problem what is us here is if they used 80 eggs on the first day how many eggs were left now let us identify what is our hidden question here again the hidden question is the question that we need to answer first before we can find the final answer the hidden question here is we have to identify how many pieces of eggs are there in one dozen so that is our hidden question how many eggs are there in a dozen or in one dozen then what are our given facts so the given facts are 12 dozen of eggs and we have also 80 eggs used now the next step is for us to plan so we have to identify here what are the different operations that we are going to use so based from the given problem so we can say that we need to use multiplication since we are going to find out how many eggs were left so we have to use subtraction as well now how are we going to write our number sentence so first is for us to identify the total pieces of eggs that they have prepared so here we are going first identify how many eggs are there in a dozen so in one dozen that is equivalent to 12 so since they prepare 12 dozens and in each dozen there are 12 eggs so we just have to multiply 12 times 12 and whatever is the number of eggs we have to subtract this by 80 since they use 80 eggs during the first day so this is now our number sentence so we can now start to solve first we are going to multiply 12 times 12 to find the total number of eggs that they have prepared so 12 times 12 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 1 is 2 1 times 2 so we have 20 1 times 1 is 1 so when we add them we have 4 4 and 1 so in other words they have prepared 144 eggs so since they use 80 eggs on the first day so we have to subtract here 80 so 4 minus 0 is 4 so 4 minus 8 cannot be so we have to regroup the next digit so this becomes 0 and this becomes 14 or 140 so 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 so in other words there were 64 eggs that were left after using the 80 eggs so our final answer is there were 64 eggs left so that is our final answer that there were 64 eggs left so there you have it how to solve word problems involving multiplication with or without addition and or subtraction so i hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video see you again in my next video thank you